Okay, so we wanted to find the average force that the ball was passed backwards. So to do this, the first step that we took was to calculate the initial momentum of the ball. So we knew the mass of the ball was 0 0.43 kilograms, and we could find the average velocity of the ball by taking the distance, which was 5 meters, and dividing it by the time it took to get there, which was 3 seconds. And we got a velocity of 1.67 meters per second. Then we were able to calculate the initial momentum by doing the mass of the ball times the average velocity, which gave us a momentum of 0 0.7181 kilograms per meter squared. So the second step that we took was to calculate the final momentum of the ball. So to do so, we had to calculate the average velocity that the ball took to get there. So that was the distance of 5 meters over 2 seconds, which gave us a velocity of minus 2.5 meters per second. So the reason why the velocity is negative is because the ball going towards Yusuf, we have chosen this to be the positive direction. So the ball going back to the initial position is going to be negative. Therefore, using this information, we could calculate the final momentum of the ball, which uh, was found to be minus, minus 1.075 kilograms uh, meters per second. Okay, and then with this information, we were able to do our third step, which is to calculate the impulse, which is the change in momentum. So we have the final momentum minus the initial momentum, which gave us an impulse of minus 1.7931 kilograms meters per second. Okay, so the fourth step is to calculate the average force applied. We know that the ball was in contact with my foot for 0 0.5 seconds, and we know that impulse equals the average force mul multiplied by 10. Therefore, we know that the average force equals the impulse divided by 10, and when we do the math, we get 3.5862 newtons.